Okay guys, you're gonna learn how to make a secret alphabet. I'm not gonna share mine too long, cause it's a secret and I don't want you to copy it. Um, no, but seriously, we are gonna write our own secret alphabet. So for this, we're gonna need an eraser, my favorite, um, because you know I make mistakes and so I need an eraser handy, um, a pencil, and then two colors of um, colored pencils. You can use any colors you want, pick your favorite. Uh, no limits with this. Okay, so this idea for the secret alphabet came from learning about Keith Haring. Um, so you hopefully, at this point, you should have watched uh, the CBS uh, Sunday morning news segment about Keith Haring and another um, Keith Haring bio that were assigned to the lesson. So you should know a little bit about him at this point. Well, as I was researching him uh, for our lesson, uh, there's a great book about him I'll provide access to it if you want to listen to it. It's not required. But um, in the book, I learned that Keith Haring, as a kid, came up with a secret alphabet that he liked to use. Um, and it was a really cool idea and something that sounded like a lot of fun. So we're going to give this a try. So here's how we're going to start this. So you've got a brief glimpse of my secret alphabet. And I'm going to show you how I created this. So what you're going to do first is you're gonna go through and you're gonna write out the alphabet. So I'm gonna do this quickly. Okay, so you've written out the alphabet. The next step is for you to create a secret alphabet, so a translation of the current alphabet into secret symbols of your choosing. Okay, so I recommend thinking, starting out by thinking of basic shapes, um, lines, things that aren't super complicated. So for example, I'm gonna explain how I came up with my symbol for the letter A. I don't want you to copy mine. I want you to come up with your own, but I'm gonna show you what my thoughts were. So as I was thinking about this, I looked at the letter A and I thought about, well, how can I represent this with a symbol? other than the letter A. And the first thing that came to my mind is, well, the letter A kind of looks like a triangle. So I drew a triangle, and then inside I put a dash mark, okay? So you can see how they're related, but it's not the same, okay? So as I continued to look at various letters, I began to think about shapes and symbols that I could use that wouldn't be exact duplications, um, but could easily become um, a symbol to represent the letter, okay? So I'm gonna encourage you to come up with your own alphabet, again, using simple shapes and lines. So let's talk about some things you might wanna use. If we have simple shapes, um, I'm just gonna draw some simple shapes over here in this corner of my page to get you thinking about this. And maybe get a scrap piece of paper and put these down. So, you know, if we go back to kindergarten, think about our basic shapes. Circle, triangle, square, rectangles, hearts, diamonds. Okay, and then of course these can all vary in size and shape, so that's something else to think about. And then if we think about different types of lines, we have um, horizontal lines, vertical lines, squiggly lines, um, I guess that's more of a jagged line, here's more of a wave or squiggly line. Um, so there are so many different ways that you can come up with your own um, translation for your secret alphabet. Okay, so let's think about these shapes and let's come back over to B and I'll do maybe another example for you. So maybe for the letter B, <clears throat> if I'm being very basic about this and thinking about it pretty literally still, um, I could do a line and beside it two circles. Um, which is funny because then it looks like the, the number 18. So let's see if I can come up with something a little bit better than that. Um, let's see. Let's try again and see if we come up with something better. So what if I did, hmm, 
All right, here's another one we can try. I'm gonna do a rectangle, and then I'm going to do this. Okay, so you can even try this out on scrap paper and practice it until you're happy with it. Um, so if you go through and you have some things like this where you know you kind of have that sloppiness that I have happening here, um, you may want to redo it at some point so that when you hand in or submit your final one on Flipgrid, it's a little bit neater, okay? So once you go through and you establish your symbols for each letter, you're gonna go back in with your colored pencils. You're gonna pick one color to do all of the letters in the English alphabet. Okay, so you're just gonna trace over top of all of these. Okay, I would go all of those. And then I'm gonna go back in with my other color when I'm done and trace over the new alphabet. Okay, so when you're done, or if you have um, fine point uh, markers of some sort at home, you can also use those. So that when I'm done, it's gonna look something more like this. And again, please do not copy my alphabet. Please come up with your own. This is supposed to be fun for you, kind of your own secret code, okay? Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this secret alphabet to write something out and later to help us create a piece of work. Um, a piece of art inspired by the artist Kate Herring. So I hope you have fun doing this. I had fun doing it. Um, and maybe it's something you and your friends will use later. All right, have fun guys.